Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be doing the sinistry chart between Adele and Rich Paul. I saw a video where uh, they claimed she said that this was the best love of her life and she um, is obsessed with him. So I decided to look at their sinistry chart to see what I came up with. Now, his Neptune, Sun, and Mercury, and Toro asteroid conjuncts her moon. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff going on here. His sun conjuncting her moon, that's like a best friend's aspect. And Mercury conjuncting her moon, excellent for compatibility and communication. Now we have Neptune conjuncting her moon. Uh, that has to do with, um, it could be a dreamy psychic connection between the two of them. But the asteroid Toro is also um, in this mix, and that indicates that he could be um, an emotional bully. But since Toro is holding hands with Neptune, that would indicate to me that there's a possibility that he could be passive aggressive. Now, his Neptune opposes her Venus at zero degrees. That's the tightest orb that you can get. Now, this opposition indicates that Venus idealizes this uh, relationship and she thinks that it's um, dreamy and romantic because the, ne the, the Neptune person, which is him, he projects these illusions and uh, dreams, fantasies that uh, are not necessarily realistic. So she sees him through rose-colored glasses and Neptune is, uh, is known for uh, deceptions or illusions and, and fogginess. So that's where the um, her idealization of the relationship is coming from, that aspect. Now, his Magion asteroid conjuncts her Mars and Point of Fortune, one degree. The Point of Fortune is like a, it looks like a circle with a cross in the middle. And it's, um, it's like a mini Jupiter, so it magnifies whatever it touches. Now, his Magion has to do with uh, spellbinding magical effects. So um, he has her under his spell. Now, the other nice things involved here that they have is um, his Pluto sextiles her moon, zero degrees. This is really nice. This is like a, a magnetic pull and uh, an attraction, like a moth to a flame. And it's at zero degrees, so that's really tight. His Pluto is trining her Venus one degree, a very uh, tight orb as well. And that indicates um, love and passion. So there's a lot of uh, excellent stuff going on here. And that explains where her um, dreaminess and idealization of the relationship is coming from. Now on the flip side of the coin, uh, I noticed some problematic aspects, and every relationship has a flip side to the coin. So I'm going to go over that as well. I said before, his Neptune opposes her Venus, but her Venus is also conjuncting Chiron in the 12th house. So there's hidden pain that she has in the love department because the 12th house is the last um house in the zodiac wheel and it represents endings or things that are hidden so she's got um in her life experience uh, a lot of pain in the love department now speaking of chiron his chiron conjuncts her son and the asteroid juno uh chiron conjuncting her son that is an indication that he will be bring, bringing her pain I, I've seen this many times before. It starts out where the, the, the planet person, which is her, goes to the Chiron person for healing, but Chiron, Chiron cannot heal, heal the other person because it's a, the, it has open wounds and it, it's incapable. I've seen it rarely where it does happen, but in this case, I don't think so because it's also conjuncting her Juno asteroid that has to do with marriage. So. Uh, eventually, there will be um, pain in this relationship, and there's further indications of that. His Casanova and Moon conjuncts her Lilith, zero degrees, and her IC, two degrees. 
Casanova conjuncting her Lilith, that is a cheating alert. I've seen this before, and um, it mo more than likely comes to fruition. So I'm just the messenger, and this is what the chart is telling me. Now his moon conjuncts her Lilith and Icy as well. That's excellent because um, the Icy is a very important angle. So he brings her a lot of em um, emotional and uh, wonderfulness and passion. But Casanova is there, and Casanova will eventually show up, and it's conjuncting her IC at two degrees, so if the cheating does occur, uh, it'll happen behind the scenes, because the IC opposes the Midheaven, and the Midheaven is what the public sees. So, uh, her Philomela and Dejanera conjuncts his North Node, zero degrees. I've said before that whatever touches your North Node from the other person, that will be the ultimate theme of the relationship for you. So her Philomela and Dejanera, that's like a double whammy because Philomela has to do with victimhood and Dejanera also has to do with victimhood. So the longer this relationship lasts, the more this is going to come into play. So there will be victimhood in this relationship. I think that um, she's going to end up being the victim and with the pain. Um, unfortunately, uh, but that's what the chart is telling me. Now, they also have uh, the aspect of his Mars squaring her Uranus by zero degrees. That's the tightest orb that you can get. And this indicates to me explosive arguments, and um, I think it's going to happen in the areas involving um, the sex and the intimacy. So that's all I have for now. And I hope you enjoyed that interpretation. If you're interested in hearing about more Sinistry charts, hit the subscribe button and I will be back again soon.